Hello dear student, in this video we will learn next waveform control uh, that is a drop down list. So this drop down list uh, it is used as a combo box uh, that is given in for your curriculum. Uh, so in web API development the toolbox for combo box given it is in a drop down list. Now drop down list it is same like a list box. So what is a list box that we have learned in last videos? Uh, list box, uh, it is just holding the collection of items and these from these items we can select a single item or we can select a multiple item. Same like that, drop down list, it is also holding collection of items, number of items and among that item we can select a single item. So what is the difference between drop down list and list box? Drop down list can select only a single item but in list box we can select the multiple items. Uh, you have seen that there is one properties that selection mode in list box. Uh, so in selection mode we can set it as a uh, single or multiple items. So but in case of drop down list there is a no such property of holding multiple items. So we can select only one item at a time. Uh, so that is the main difference between list box and the drop down list. So I think you understand the concept of drop down list. So what is a drop down list? Just to hold different number of items and among that item we can select a single item at a time. Now there is a no selection mode just like a list box. So if the question asks like what is a combo box you will write the same answer as in a drop down list. Now we will see example that how to create uh, that particular drop down list with the help of the web form and how to say the different properties and how to execute that particular uh, drop down list along with the web page. Now let's go to the Visual Studio. Now this is one program. Here you can see already the values has been set. So here toolbox I will show you and here you will find out the drop down list. Just you have to drag this drop down list over here and then you can see in this way the unbound data items you can see over here now in this unbound data item you can set the items by uh, two ways one choosing the data source or you can directly edit the item just like that you have done in the list items so here already the data items has been set over here i will show this one first so you can see edit items see uh, the name of the cities has been stored here please select uh, that is a default one will be displayed when you run it on the web browser and then next one the name of the cities now new delhi great noida new york paris london and so on so uh, if i click any one of that your text and the value are the same you can change the value content over here Let's say okay so here suppose we want to set the items go to the edit item and they add here write down the text suppose I write down FYIT class uh, see the value has been changed as an FYIT again edit item add add FYIT then here SYIT value will be SYIT third one TYIT The value is TYIT. Uh, so when we drag this drop down list and when we set the values, uh, you can see it's a source part. Uh, see, it has been selected uh, as this part is selected, drop down list design view. So in a source, you can see one drop down list has been added, ID with the drop down list 2. Now the first drop down list will be having ID as in a drop down list 1 and here drop down list 2. Uh, run at server this is a server control and different items that whatever you are adding that will be listed over here ASP list item FYIT uh, then end of that tag uh, here the SYIT and TYIT uh, if you want to add it even you can add over here uh, so new items can be added uh, through the source also and through the design part also and the next one uh, this one through the data source also you can create and add that one for that you have to bind to your database now uh, the one has been added over here you can see uh, the select city of your choice uh, 
that is just information and here asp top down list and the please select is the first item and others are the next items and end of that uh, drop down list and there is one also button we can see this one is a button and uh, for that button id button one run at server on click this is one property as an event and type submit now i will delete this one and let's see the properties of drop down list right click click on the properties now here you can see the different properties so you can compare it with list items access key that you know that it's a short key uh, when you write any uh, letter just like suppose i write here uh, p then alt p will be able to that you can access that particular uh, drop down list that is a shortcut key tab index it will decide that by which order that you want to access your uh, web control appearance it is for the coloring behavior that auto post back uh, whether it you want to set it as a false or true now uh, that you know right now very well what is an auto post back if we select auto post back as in a true or as an enable then when we are selecting the item that at item at the same time it will be sent to the server instantly uh, so that is the use of auto post back so without the use of external button that your data will be sent directly to the server so if you want to send data instantly to the server automatically then we will use this auto post back method enable so he, from here also you can save the value as in a true uh, but right now there uh, it has used the button so no need of it enabling it uh, another one through here also you can right now just we have set it true automatically it has been set as enable i am removing that one okay so this is about the behavior for whether you want to enable the content that uh, will be visible and accessible for performing the operations that is for the enabling data source if we are binding uh, items with the help of the data source then uh, this data source id database text fields assigned with that and the value fields uh, this is for the layout and miscellaneous so these are some basic properties of uh, drop down list and event if we click on that particular drop down list and we want to write down the code behind it uh, when selected index change so whenever we are using uh, that auto post pack method enable and just uh, the code should be get executed when i'm selecting any of the items uh, then this event will be get generated selected index change now these are the properties of drop down list now let's run this program now okay this is source part we have seen before that okay and the design uh, we will see it the coding part now in the coding part button click event now you know that how to find out this button click if suppose go to the property and these are the events in events you can see when we click on the button button one underscore click event will be generated and this function will be called now go to this part c sharp code part here you will see button underscore click uh, this function containing these lines of course now if the drop down list one dot selected value is equal to null then label one dot text please select a city else label one dot text uh, is equal to your choices plus drop down list dot selected value so what does this code mean uh, if that selected value of drop down list containing nothing uh, then this line of code will be get executed it will just show into the label that please select a city otherwise uh, else label one dot text it will display with the value of selected value of that particular drop down list now where are the selected values again let's go to this part and uh, we will see the items edit items now you can see the first one please select here there is no value nothing is there but for the next onwards all these cities containing the same value as in a text so these values will be checked selected value means uh, whether it contains something or not if it is uh, null then uh, 
then just it will print a message that or uh, that is select the proper value now where is that label this is a label so with this label your data will be printed let's see the properties of label 1 go to the properties so text content has been nothing enable view state is a false one first of all so that's why it is not visible let's run this program good so this is your drop down list from here select suppose i select new delhi submit so here your choice is new delhi then great noida submit great noida so in this way its output will be get change as we are selecting different items so if i am selecting new york means that selected value of new york is a new york that will be get selected and it will be assigned to the label uh, you have you might have observed that there was no label content shown when we are running the program at the first time because uh, they have keep enable theming as in a false one so once we are selecting some value and assigning to the label then that will be assigned to that particular label even the text was in null one so you can write the next code like this one uh, assign that label with no values and uh, first of all keep it as in a, in a false mode of the enable theming and then later on it will be get so start once you are selecting some value and assigning to that particular label so in this way you can run this drop down list i will share this code on the moodle now we will see the next program drop down list let's see the design part this is a calendar and uh, these are this is a drop down list you can see background color now let's see its uh, items edit item and uh, one thing you can observe over here enable at a post pack method is a true in this case uh, so now this is by default is a white and selected is a true next one others are selected as in a false and text value silver value silver gray gray dark gray khaki and uh, this is for the dark khaki so these are the items for the color colors text and the values are the uh, colors now we can save the different colors with the help of this drop down list and enable at a post back method enable to pass this data to the server and the next step actions on the uh, this calendar will happen now let's see the coding part let's go to the source you can see this one it is a drop down list color list id you can change the id uh, through that properties at a post back is true on selected in this selection change run at server and these are the values for that list items now when we are selecting that color uh, this information will send to that event of selected index change of that particular drop down list and this code will be done so selection change it is for selected index change here calendar one this is your calendar uh, day style dot back color so it's a back color will be assigned with system dot drawing uh, dot color from name here color list dot selected item and dot value so this color list means this is the name of your drop down list dot selected item this is your function and the value of that particular assign or selected through user uh, to the ui web browser this will be assigned over here and it will be given this color will be given as in a back color for the calendar one so this is a calendar calendar id and calendar one so let's run this program this is the output now here uh, right now it's white i select silver it has been silver dark gray khaki and dark khaki so in this way this color information will be sent to the selected value and at the post back method is on so it's selected index will generate the event as a select and through that the code has been written at the source place and these values will be assigned to the calendar okay so we will see uh, 
so another example of drop down list in the